This area has been straightened using a well done dent removal tool and is ready for the application of filler. To begin, we need to prep the area by grinding down the leftover studs from the weld on dent removal. When removing the remaining weld on studs, take caution to not thin the base metal. Next, we'll remove refinished coatings around the repair area so that we can apply the body filler. The coatings are removed using a DA sander and 80 grit sandpaper. When first applying filler, use firm pressure to ensure maximum adhesion and to fill all lows. Additional filler is applied thinner on the edges and thicker in the middle to help with feather edging during the sanding process. Once the filler has cured, guide coat is applied. To begin sanding, we'll be using P80 grit sandpaper on an appropriately sized sanding block. We'll begin sanding at a slight diagonal. A crosscut pattern is used to ensure that all of the filler areas are sanded evenly. We can see we have some high spots indicated by these breakthroughs, also low spots indicated by the guide coat. Before sanding any further, we need to tap down our highs. Sanding is continued until the edges of the repair area are feathered. Next, finishing glaze will be used to fill any minor imperfections. We'll apply the finishing glaze using this system. It's important to keep the nozzle tip inside the bead to avoid pinholes and air bubbles. Hold the gun in your non-dominant hand so that the filler can be spread with your dominant hand. When using glaze, cover the entire repair area all the way to your refinished feather edge. Guide coat is applied and sanding is started this time using P150 grit sandpaper, sanding in a similar fashion. The repair area is now ready to be prepared for the application of primer surfacer.